So you think Asian women don't like black men? I would say they like us, they don't love us. You know, I would that's a that's a lot of these women that aren't black. I would agree with that. I think a yeah. lot of non I think a lot of non-black women just uh I call it fetishizing. But it depends. Of course, it's not always a hundred percent true, but I think it's on a general level, yeah, the, more than likely. The experiences I have just came off very much as a uh, fetish. So who do you think Asian women like then? Who do you think that they love? Of course, their own, but who else? Bro, I'm going to be honest. You don't know what women like. You don't even know what women love. Like, for me trying to break this down and just figure women out, I can't just say they love white men because a lot of white men get used. I can't say they love Asian men because a lot of Asian men are like, you know, they look up to Asian men and they have a little power here. So who knows what women want, you know? So I can't really say what a woman wants. I can't really say who a woman really loves. But I know for black men, a lot of times it is like a fetishization. It is like a little fantasy idea in their head that they're trying to fulfill. Have you ever been fetishized? If so, what, give me an example. A lot, <laughs> a lot. And it's kind of, it's cool in the moment, but when you look back and you realize, damn, I just wasted my time, you know? But um, like even two days ago, I'm with this girl and she's just telling me like, just every minute is something about black men. It's something about, how she's with a black man. Every we walking around and everybody's staring at us. Everybody's laughing and making jokes. Oh, black man, are you about to be screaming and on his dick and shit like that? It's just weird little shit. <laughs> and then she just texted me today. She went back to Bangkok. She's like, oh, she's telling her friends she was with a black man. This that, and it's like every fucking second it's about black man. And like, <laughs> I actually had an experience where. I was with this French girl the other day. She's like, I was her first black man. And I ain't gonna lie, it's, it was a little weird. It was a little weird. She didn't even speak English, like, but she's just like acting like she loves me and shit like that. <laughs> acting like she's about to fly me out to France. And it's like, all we did was, we didn't really have a connection. All we did was, you feel me? <laughs> so what women um, do you like the most? I like Caribbean women, black women. Uh, I kind of like Latin American women now. Have you been to the Caribbean? Oh, uh, yeah. Where did you go? I've been to Jamaica, Barbados, Bahamas, and I would say Cartagena is the Caribbean, too. I like those women. It's a lot of Caribbean vibes out there as well. I would agree. I enjoy Cartagena as well, uh, up until a certain point. Flight Madness says, honestly, lots of Africans in Asia messing up, lowering the image of black men, seeming poor and desperate for a green card is not attractive. I would agree. I've met some Africans that are really fucking up the reputation. Khalil sent two more super chats. He says, outside of our black community, most times, the black man has been fetishized by other cultures. There is a vast difference between love and lusting. Exactly. I would say I have a, a, a lust for Asian women, but I've told you guys many times, the chances of an Asian woman being married to me are uh, not that high. And at this state of mind right now, if I was to have an Asian baby, it would just to say that I got a, a, a Blasian baby, not because of any other thing. But who knows? That could change. You know, I'm 25. It may change by the time I'm 30. But right now, that's what I'm telling y'all. What's, what's your thoughts on Brazilian women and, like, what do you love about them so much? I think God made them for me. Let's say that, right? When it comes to personality, I can count on one hand how many dates I've been on with a Brazilian that uh, was just like, oh, my God, I need to get out of here. Actually, I don't think that's happened one time. Uh, they're full of energy. That they have this very interested, this very interested type of vibe when you're out with them. Like they just want to know everything. And when when I first started traveling, people were like, oh, they're only uh, like that because they know you're American or because they you want a green card. I say bullshit. 
because I can go to other countries that are poorer than Brazil. Not that Brazil is a poor country, but they're poorer than Brazil. And those women don't behave like the Brazilian. Wouldn't the poor women be even more interested since they're desperate? You know, uh, and I don't date desperate women, man. First of all, you know these women. I'm not. I'm. I'm way past fucking just the fuck. You know that's when I when I was fucking just the fuck. Maybe, maybe uh, desperate women, but the fitness culture, the mix that they got going on. That doesn't mean that I won't date a full black Brazilian, but I can tell you I haven't. You know, she definitely was mixed in. Well, she looks similar to me, and I'm, I'm, well, I'm regular black, I guess. But you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I never dated an Angolan, basically direct Angolan descent Brazilian woman. But what are you talking about? Oh my God, past the cap, God. Yeah, okay. But the same mind, the same thing that I like, they like as well. We have a lot of we have a lot of things in common. Let's say that when it comes to expectations. But there was a, a guy when I first got on YouTube and I started my Discord, and he was in my Discord. He wanted to talk on the the voice part of the Discord where you could talk, you know, on the voice like you're on the phone. Uh, it was a couple of us on the call, and like you said about marriage plans, this dude had never been to Medellin. He was in, he was in a divorce. He was divorcing an American woman. And so he saw this content, and so he gets his his he he didn't even get it off Tinder. He got it off some like uh, Colombian Cupid or one of those type of no, it was a mail order bride website, basically like a mail order bride. Like you want a Colombian wife, get it right here. He already had plans to buy her a house and already had agreed to marry her, and he had never been to Medellin. And he was calling us asking. What should he do? We were like, you should cancel all that shit out if to start. Do you think there's a lot of dudes that are in that situation? Yeah, like I just feel like dudes in general put too much value on these women. That like <laughs> I'm gonna just be real. Like women are just women. I I don't think you should love a woman before you have experiences with her. I don't feel like certain, I don't know. I just feel like when we, like for me, I just know women are supposed to be like, I wouldn't say like, I would say, I don't want to be offensive, bro, but I value like people's mindsets and a lot of these women don't have a matchable mindset. So I just feel like a lot of dudes just pedestalize women for no reason and just take them too serious. So let me, uh, serious. let me, let me, let me challenge you real quick. And we're going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to see what you guys think. Just answer yes or no to this question. Let me read these super chats first though. I'm not attracted to Asian women, but I have an insane infatuation with the Asian culture as a whole. It is a, completely different than the rest of the world i would agree love my latinas we still love you tyler thank you very much you are on a different planet when you go to asia trust me um women are the same worldwide yes or no cz uh i would say that's false but true at the same time okay well hold on, hold on. Like hold on but but yes or no what do you think generally speaking yes or no uh yeah yeah. You're the same worldwide. What about you, Danny? Yes. I disagree with both of you. I mean, we got to add context, man. We got to add context. Like, if you put a Asian woman in the same situation as an American woman, she's going to behave as an American woman. So, I mean, like, their base foundation is the same, but the culture changes them. So, yeah, women are different, definitely. But it's like, if you know, but if you, I don't believe that Asians are more pure. Like, if, I'm sure, like, if you took a hot, uh, if you took, like, a sweet, nice Asian girl and you put her in America, you're going to eventually turn her into, like, a dark, demonic something. You just, she's not going to be the same sweet Asian girl she was before. So it's like, a, you know, it's like. Under circumstances. I yeah, feel like the same under circumstances. Mm -hmm. I would agree with it. Yeah. 
I would agree with that. Uh, I've always said that a lot of people think that women, they're like, oh, well, when you go to China or if you go to Brazil, it's going to be the same because women are the same worldwide. I disagree because the environment is different. So you're not going to get the same result. I mean, I don't even speak the same fucking language. But if you if you brought them to the States, the chances of them being the same woman that you're getting away from is high. Yes, I would agree with that. Would you agree with that too, Steezy? Yeah, like I said, I said the reason I said yes to the same worldwide, I would say worldwide women are generally followers. They're just followers. Like whatever environment they're in, they're going to follow, you know? So like he said, if you put a Asian girl or a Middle Eastern girl around American woman, they're going to just follow each other and just, you know, like fit in with each other. But um, you, like you said, they are different in, based on different environments. So let me ask you a couple of questions, Easy. How have your dating experiences varied across different countries that you've been to? Uh, I would say... Usually, I would attract similar women based on my vibe, based on what woman likes me and what woman is drawn to me. I wouldn't really say I'm a serial dater or nothing like that. I'm really an introvert, you know, but women get attracted based on whatever they like about a guy. And sometimes they like my vibe, so... What do the women look like that you date? Uh, women look like I've dated recently. I just started dating all types of women. I never dated skinny women, but now my last, I'm not going to say how many, but they have been slimmer. So that's, I, I kind of change. I'm, I'm kind of like doing it for the experience. I'm not really looking for nothing. I just like experiences and just having a track record under my belt. So what do you think? So let me ask you this. When I say what do the women look like, the women that are attracted to you, what race, what weight, I guess, are they? Uh, what type of personality do they have? And what type of music do they listen to? Uh, Music-wise... I would say they have the same music tastes as me, as far as like hip hop, dancing vibe, you know. But um, I would say, you said weight, I would say, I like, that really doesn't matter to me. I don't like fat girls, but um, I do like women with thick thighs, <laughs> not fat. And not overweight. I like short women that are thick. That's kind of my type. But um, I would say it's a general, it's a broad spectrum of women. Okay, so what? What? Uh, somebody left a comment saying that he said he's not a serial dater, but he's getting some experience under his belt. What? So what? If you're just trying a bunch of things, isn't that serial dating too? Uh, I wouldn't say it's dating. That's the thing. Dating and meeting people and ex like I'm a content creator. I, I'm outside every day. I meet people all the time, no matter where I'm at. In America, same thing. Europe, same thing. It's just different women all the time. I'm a young man. <laughs> it's always a different woman every day. So I wouldn't call that dating. Uh, well, I mean, I guess hooking up, hooking up is under the, the belt of dating, though. I wouldn't even say hooking up. Like, not every woman I hook up with, you know, sometimes it's just, I don't really take it that serious. Women ain't that serious. They're just around. They're always there. How do you find the women you meet? Uh, just being outside, just going out, just shopping, what, anywhere. You know. Okay, so do you use data apps? Uh sometimes. Like it works in Asia. Dating apps work in Asia. 
they work in a few other countries, but I'm not really an online type of guy. I don't really DM girls. I don't really do all that. I'm really more of a in-person guy, face-to-face, eye-to-eye. Okay, so do black men get the, bo- get the bottom tier of women when they travel? I mean, I feel like they want that. They settle for that. I wouldn't say that's all we can get. I would say it's the fruit that, you know, it's the low-hanging fruit. A lot of guys just settle for the quickest thing. The first girl they th- they see, they settle for the first girl that likes them, you know, and it's usually a fat girl. It's usually an ugly girl. But um, I feel like if you kind of just wait and not be so thirsty, you'll get better women. What's the best dating? When well, you said you don't date, what's the best experience you've had uh, hanging around women abroad? Ah, that third world vibe. I like that third world vibe where it kind of like I'm a Caribbean, so I'm used to women cooking for you. I'm used to women just doing certain things and stepping in and just doing what a man shouldn't be doing. Like sometimes you want to have a woman just wake up and clean. You just want to have a woman that just cooks and just takes control. I'm not saying take control on like some masculine vibe, but I kind of like older women. I'm, I'm, I like older women. But if you go to third world countries, you'll find 18-year-old girls, 20-year-old girls that act like grown women. So I like that vibe. So you, you think know? they mature faster? Yeah, it's the culture. So have you matured? Do you think you've matured more since you left the States? Yeah, I would say I matured more. But my values have always been mature based on my Caribbean culture. Okay. Okay. So if anybody has... Go go ahead. I would would say my energy and my attitude has matured more. 